change. It's such a common theme in education, and lately I have been inspired by teachers who are working together in order to support each other through the various changes in their practice. When I ask teachers about their practice, at times the conversations reveal just how overwhelming change can be in a classroom, whether it be about new programs that have new exam requirements, or different types of learners that are coming into our rooms, or all of the technology that teachers are expected to use along with new pedagogical strategies. Change can happen at such a breakneck speed that at times we forget to stop. And remember that there are certain things in our practice that are locked. The programs we teach, our school policies, and our student home lives. If we start to think too much about those things, we will indeed be overwhelmed. When we shift our focus to what we do have control over, it can be quite liberating. We are in control over how we choose to teach, our own classroom policies, and the environments in which we teach. When it comes down to it, we cannot change the direction of the wind, but we can adjust our sails. And in so doing, we can move from that feeling of, I can only do so much, to, wow, I can do so much. So, what is it we can do? When I ask teachers that question, the answers make so much sense. Tara Wong talks about what she has learned in implementing active learning situations in her math classes. One difference using learning situations is it's emphasized even more that when we're problem solving, there isn't only one way to go about finding an answer, that using the knowledge we have and things we've learned in class, students can work alone or together to come up with different things and I think it takes the pressure off feeling there's only one way to go about something and it builds confidence to know you can try different things using the knowledge you have to come up with an answer. What if we applied those same ideas to professional learning? Earlier this year, some colleagues and I wanted to experiment with just that and so we organized a professional learning day called Giving a Shift. Our goals were to provide opportunities for networking as well as to talk about and model the implicit use of technology for learning. We used strategies like stations and EdCamp to facilitate small group conversations. And throughout the day, teachers were able to talk to each other and access each other's expertise to help them make sense of the changes in their practice and where the technology fit within all of that. Sheldon McGillivray describes the effect of this kind of professional learning. Professional development for me uh, maybe I'm not, you know, I, I'm sure people share this opinion, but it's often you walk away with uh, a lot of information. It's hard to digest. It's just sitting there in your head. You're exhausted and you need a mental escape sort of thing. This one is sort of lit a fire, got me thinking, uh, got me more energetic intellectually. I'm in, more intellectually curious about some things I've heard today. Um, and, I, and I believe because we're sharing these things, I believe that, that that's the solution when we think of barriers we can't cross and impermeable walls and obstacles. A lot of that is contrived, a lot of that's self-inflicted. We believe that that's in the way of our ability to do something. But then you hear someone else tell you that they're doing what you thought was impossible and that's transcending. Research is showing us that this is not a coincidence. The notion of collective teacher efficacy has recently moved up the scale to be the number one factor influencing student achievement. What does this mean? Basically, if educators' realities are filtered through the belief that there is very little they can do to influence student achievement, then it's very likely that these beliefs will be manifested in their practice. If we turn those beliefs around, we can change this reality. If a school staff shares a sense of collective efficacy, then they have a greater likelihood of positively impacting student learning over and above any other influence. Working together through these changes can help us to create this reality. Both Tara and Sheldon spoke of the power of working together for relieving pressure, building confidence, and uncovering different ways of doing things. By doing that, we can help each other move from that feeling of, I can only do so much to we can do so much.